Kanye West was uh, kicked out of Chase Bank for, they didn't give a reason. They're saying it's because of his hates. Well, people believe it's because of his hate speech. So I want to do two videos in one this morning. The Kanye was uh, getting terminated by Chase Bank. That's video number one. That is separate from video number two. And video number two is PayPal. Y'all know PayPal, right? Most of us use PayPal. PayPal has decided, or they did decide, that they want to penalize people, conservatives, and people on the whole for hate speech. You know, hate speech like God created male and female. You know, hate speech like only women, biological women can have baby. You know those hate speech terms that a lot of y'all Christians believe and conservatives believe and think. And though you might not voice it or whatever, PayPal is going to research to find out if you've been saying these things or believe these things and they're going to get in your mind and they're going to figure out, have you been thinking these things? And if you are, they will find you $2,500, take it out of your PayPal. And if you don't have $2,500 in your PayPal, girl, hello, your bank account is attached to your PayPal account. So PayPal is going to get their money because you believe God created male and female, created he them. It's Thursday, hey girl. Uh, this is something I usually don't talk about. Okay, I wanted to talk about the PayPal on my financial video, but uh, I'm starting to put some things together and I did a, was doing a little research for a couple of days. I said, no, I'm gonna put it on this channel. I do have a bigger following over here. So we can discuss it in the comments uh, below. I did not watch Merit at First Sight. Uh, my intention was to get up early and do uh, Merit at First Sight, but I forgot that I had, uh, I was gonna do our, our mask this morning. That's another hate speech mask, you know, wearing masks or don't wear a mask or whatever. And so what I do with our mask is I boil them and then I wash them. And so I didn't have enough time to watch any of Merit at First Sight this morning, but I will catch up and thank God, uh, Alyssa said we have a break next week. So that will give me time uh, to catch up. I want to thank you for your love and support. Thank you for the sh birthday shout outs on my cash app. I'm still not at my 19,000 yet. Uh, YouTube is playing with me, but it's okay. We gonna get there. And, um, let me give the shout outs for the birthday blessings. I appreciate the love and the um, support. Those of you who have picked up my books and leaving me reviews on Amazon. Those of you who have joined my, my um, mentoring platform. I really appreciate it. Sarah, Sarah, Mia. Thank you, babes. Thank you. I appreciate the love and the support. Catherine, Catherine, thank you for the love of Catherine Howard. Love and support. Sabrina Scott. Sabrina Scott, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Marilyn Morton. Marilyn Morton. Did I tell you I was going to name my little girl Marilyn if I had a little girl? Because my, my husband's mother name is Marilyn. He loves his mama. Marilyn Morton, thank you for your love and support. Ophelia and Ophelia and Joy. Halden, thank you for your love and support. And my girl, Alyssa. Alyssa, thank you for your love and support. And Marilyn has sent me a, another early birthday present. I appreciate the love and the support. I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you for those of you who have joined the mentoring platform. I see I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a video and just shout everybody out and thank you so much. Uh, just remember that my, my YouTube membership, I canceled and my, my Patreon. So in order for you to support me on a monthly basis, you must go over, please, ma'am, please, sir, to Janice Hilton Mentoring and check um, that out. And that is your way of supporting me. And uh, thank you for those of you who hang with me the other night and uh, saw my birthday video. Okay, so let's go. Be sure to subscribe. We're still trying to get to 19. So now, since I didn't get to the 19 by my birthday, which I think it's, it's, it's you too, because I was getting the last week with the content I've been doing, I was getting close to 100 people a day. So all of a sudden, the day before my birthday, it stops. And I only needed 200 more. Okay, but that's okay. So now we our goal is 20,000 20, cousins. Okay, and so 
we know that Kanye, I believe, let me just say, I believe that Kanye West has some mental issues going on there. And so I try not to talk about him very much because, you know, I just believe there are some issues going on there. I do agree with some of the things he says. Uh, and so we know that he was terminated from from Instagram and then Elon Musk has in, welcomed him back to Twitter. Next thing I know, he was um, he was deleted from, from Twitter. And so basically this is too tiny for me to read, but Candace Owens, I love, let me put, take this down. I love Candace Owens. I don't care what y'all say about her. I love her. I love people who think outside of the box. I bought her book and if she write another book, I'm going to buy it. I need to start listening to her more. I really love her and I really like her. I love uh, people who gets off, who's able to escape the plantation, the democratic plantation that is, okay? And so I love her. I don't care what people say and I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed to say the girls at the job. Oh my God, I can't believe you bought her book. Yes, I did, because I'm an author. I'm an author and I need other people to write, to, 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 to read my book and buy my book. So everybody that buys, sells a book, I'm going to buy a book. So I could plant my seed. Hello, see Tommy Harvest, baby. You better plant a seed. And so, but Ken Stones basically said in, in here that, um, and uh, earlier today, I learned that Kanye West was officially kicked out of JP Morgan Chase Bank. I was told there was no official reason given, but they sent this letter as well to confirm that he has until late November to find another place for the Yeezy Empire bank that is too small and so you know people are believing it's because of his hate speech so when i hear hate speech i you know like what he said on twitter please do now or instagram wherever do not put it in my comments but basically he basically threatened a group of people we don't do that we don't believe in that we don't believe in threatening people we don't do anything we don't believe in that and so they're People are thinking it's because of that they don't want his money, but that's okay because there's a new uh, conservative bank called, called Glorify, G-L-O-R-I, G-L-O-R-I-F-I, Glorify, and I'm sure he's going to be bringing his billions of dollars over to uh, the new conservative bank and a lot of conservatives are flopping over there. A lot of conservatives are also removing their money from JP Morgan Chase and uh, Wells Fargo. Okay. And so I remember last year around this time that, um, General Flynn said that Chase also sent him a letter that they didn't want his business because of who he was. Okay. Um, and so with the Kanye West, that part is over. We don't do hate speech. We don't believe in hate speech. But here's my thing. The problem with hate speech is people get to define, people get to define what they deem hate speech is. Because now, PayPal, see, see, this is, this is why we have to be so careful of slippery slope, okay? I remember Bishop preaching years ago, about the slippery slope because now PayPal, PayPal is saying they're threatening to find people for hate speech. And like I say, hate speech is, oh, God created male and female. Uh, you know, only woman can give birth. Th those are things that's considered, PayPal is thinking and considering it is hate speech and they're going to uh, find you. And so when PayPal released this article, uh, according to the reports, PayPal, their stock, they lost $5 billion in one day. Okay, PayPal, you can believe what you want to do. You can say what you want to do. But those of us who invest in you don't have to keep our money there. Now, I didn't hear about it because if I heard about it, they would have lost $5 billion, $2.50, because I would have went in my investments and pulled my stocks out, my money out of PayPal, the ones that I can, that I can pull out. You know, sometimes you invest, it's a group. 
you know, like an ETF. It's a group, so you can't really say, well, I, I don't want PayPal. You have to, well, you would have to get out of it. But not those. But if I would check to see if I have any individual stocks in PayPal, I would have taken my money out too. Now, let me explain to you that I believe people should believe what they want to want to do believe. Now, I was listening and doing a little research, and it says studies, listen to this, studies show conservatives pay their bills. You know, the, the other group of people, they don't want to pay their bill, always looking for a handout and stuff like that. So when they, the, when PayPal is going to say, oh, we go, we going to do this because of what you believe, uh-huh, $5 billion in one day. And last year, last year, I got to go back and look at my investments, uh, then which may, means I might not have any individual stocks in PayPal. But last year, PayPal, uh, it was 280, let's just say almost $300 per one stock per PayPal. Do you know how much PayPal stock is worth today? $80. $80. Because you feel, PayPal, that you want to penalize people for, for believing in their God given rights. And there are our rights to believe what we want to believe in. And like I say, me personally, I don't care what nobody say. That scripture in the book of Joshua. When God said to the people, choose you this day who you will serve. And then he said, I encourage you. I'm telling you, I'm begging you, I'm pleading with you, choose God. If I believe, and i that's the mountain that I will live on, people have a right to do what they will, believe what they will, with the exception of you're not hurting people, you're not coming into crime, you're not hurting kids. Other than that, I don't care. You want to marry the tree, I believe it is your right to go marry the tree because that is your choice. God has given us free will and free choice to do what we will with the exception of committing crimes, hurting people, hurting kids, so on and so on. I don't, I believe that I will, I will march to Washington DC from New Jersey for people to believe what they want to believe and do what they, this is why I also believe a woman has a right to do what she will and chooses with her body. That is her body that God gave her the right and the choice over to make the decisions over her body. I will march barefooted to Washington, D.C. to fight for a woman right to choose, to believe what she wants to believe. So how does PayPal believe you want to find people $2,500 because we want to believe that God created male and female. Uh -huh. That is in my Bible. God created on the sixth day, six is the number of man, God created male and female. Only women can give birth. If you're not born a woman, you cannot give birth. That's Bible. So then when PayPal start losing money, guess what they say? Oh, oh, it was an accident. Let me read it. PayPal pulls back, says it won't find customers $2,500 for misinformation after backlash. Let's see what the misinformation is. God created male and female. Women give birth. The whole mask mandate, even with the mask, even with the mask, I wish I could, I did it with the mask. I believe you have a right. You want to wear a mask? You wear your mask. Okay. I, I, I hand wash our, I boil our masks and I hand wash them. I believe you, 
you want to wear a mask, you want to wear a mask. You don't want to wear a mask, you don't wear a mask. But ma'am, when you go in the building that says you can't come in with, without a mask, then you either stay outside or you'll put a mask on. Okay? Hate speech. PayPal has backtracked on a published policy that would have fined users $2,500 for, uh, for spreading misinformation, claiming the update had gone out in error. Okay. You are a multi billion dollar industry trading on the stock market, and that went out in error. But you know what that said is that it was discussed, and somebody wrote it and sent it out. So you're over multi-billion dollar industry, but you're you're sending out misinformation. Okay. Okay, PayPal. FYI, y'all, you know, if it just so happened my channel get deleted, y'all know where to find me, okay? <laughs> An AU at notice recently went out in error that inc in error that include incorrect information. Uh -huh, you mean misinformation. Uh, PayPal is not finding people for misinformation, and this language was never intended to be inserted in our policy. Our teams are working to correct our policy pages. We're sorry for the confusion this has caused. A spokesperson told National Review in a written statement. The course reversal comes after the policy changes that has started to attract media scrutiny, as well as criticism on Twitter from PayPal President David Marcus even blasted the company over implication that it could siege customers' money for fighting their views object objectionable. It's hard for me to openly criticize the company. I used to love and gave so much to, but at PayPal's new AP goes anything against every, goes against everything I believe. The cryptocurrency entrepreneur says Saturday, a private company now gets to decide to take your money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. Tech titan Elon Musk re, uh, replied agreed in a comment that goes got thousands of likes. The policy update had appeared to authorize the company to pull a significant sum of money from the accounts of users who spread misinformation among other newly listed offenses. Let's remember what they are deeming misinformation. God created male and female. That is just one example. The new condition were scheduled to be added to the restricted activity section of the PayPal user agreement effective number three. Uh, changes include prohibiting on sending, posting, or publication of any messages, content, or materials that promote misinformation. God created male and female. While their po prior policy already forbade hate, intolerance, and discrimination, the new one would have explicitly applied to specific protected groups and individual groups based on protected characteristic identities under this umbrella include race, religion, gender, or gender identity, and sexual orientation. The firm's current rule book doesn't list these terms. It's unclear whether PayPal will also pull back these specific prohibition, prohibition on discriminatory language or if it is only scrubbing the misinformation clause. Breaking the rule against misinformation and hate speech may subject you to damage, including liquidated damage of $2,500 US per violation, which may be uh, debited directly from your PayPal account. The company had original one in a user agreement account holders and attest that the penalty is presently a reasonable minimum estimate of PayPal's actual damages due to the expenses the firm incurs by a court accountant for the violations as well as damage to its reputation. Okay, and then it goes on to talk about how he was paid, found, and so on and so forth. So now, because they lost $5 billion, with a B, $5 billion. Now they say, oh, it was an error. It went out and it was an error.
So I want to know what y'all think about that. What do y'all think about that? I'm all about rights. Let me tell you, baby, that is the hill I will live on. I'm all about people have a right to their beliefs and do what you want to do as long as you're not hurting kids, you're not committing crimes. Because God gave, it, gave us the free will to do so and to think so. But let me let me let me warn you, born again Christians. Listen, the Bible is being fulfilled. A lot of these things, the Bible, there's somebody else who shall remain unnamed who recently got kicked out of social media. He said he do, he can't do not he can't use Uber, he can't do Airbnb, and all because all they're all connected, they're all friends, right? All these big billionaire companies they're all friends oh we kicking him out of social media oh i'm kicking him off uber oh i'm kicking you can't use airbnb these are the this the bible speaks of these things and this time that is coming so let us pray and 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 pray come quickly lord jesus because the can you imagine you're not able to use uber or nothing 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 Th that is you're not able to use banks do y'all not remember that you can't get your money from the back it's in the bible y'all read it and i'm not i what i am saying is the bible is being fulfilled as a whole on um, people i'm not this is not this part it's not has to do with kanye if you out here doing uh threatening a group of people i you know then that's the penalization for you that's fine i'm not saying hate speech i'm saying you threatened a group of people no sir that's a crime all right i have to go let me know what you think uh in the comments love you one more bye